Coach Todd. Coach Alicia. Coach Scott. Team Scott. Team Sean Scott. Teasy. <laughs> so you want to, I don't know what we're doing, so you tell them what we're doing. So today. It's day five. It's Friday fight. Hell day. Hell yeah, day. From it's what I hear. really a nightmare. If this is your first time going Friday fight, like you just <laughs> have to want to push yourself. That's really just it. Like you have to go into this situation being like, I want to do this. Even if you don't want to do it, you have to say, I want to do this. And go into it like knowing you're going to get tired, knowing it's going to suck, knowing that this is going to get you the best results by really pushing yourself. Well, and you told me earlier we're doing everything that we've done all week long. Yeah, it's kind of a combination of all the moves that you've done throughout the week. For a minute? With minimal, minimal rests. All right. Plural. Good time. So you do get a couple. All right, can I go ahead and max out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's y'all's focus for today? Points, My focus down. is surviving. <laughs> survive. survive. Survive, survive. Fight through the pain. I'm going to fight through the pain today. You what's yours? Pain? Yeah. My focus is... So hope my tennis injury doesn't sneak up on me, which is my calf muscle. Because me and Sean T, mm -mm, he ain't beating me, not today. Mm -mm. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. You go. You push through. You move. Come on. That switch kick punch is all about the core. There you go. Come on, Al. Get it up. There you go. Push through. Al's out. Make sure your core is contract. Make sure you breathe in it. I know you can do it. Come on. It's a Friday fight. This to go. Oh, you bro. gotta stay in there. You gotta push. Who's winning? Your mind or your body? Who's winning? Your mind or your body? Come on. Come on. Come on. Your mind has to tell you things. All right, here we go. You see that? She's getting that butt down. Yeah. That knee's coming up. Sean, see here next. But keep going seconds. when you get Come to on, that four, place. You can do it. Three. Switch to the other side. Here we go. Come on. Other side. Go. Come on. Out. I'd like to show you. So you turn away from the series three. Every time you bring up the up, we should see each other. I'm going to go back. X jump. X plank. Three. Oh, man. Two. One. Go. X jump. Come on. X plank. Go. X jump. Come on. X plank. Go. X jump. Come on. X plank. Go. Darren is not going to stop. He's going to push because I'm better today. I'm stronger today. I'm we got animals today. around here and everything. today. Come on. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Great job. Come on, are you ready now? Come on, guys. Come on. Next week, this is round one of your Friday fight. Ready? Knees up. Knees up. Punching abs. Go. Come on, punch. Punch. Punch your chest as hard as you can go. Come on, guys. You can do it. Push through. Punch. All right, that was Friday fight round one, day five. First time we've done it. <sighs> pure cardio on crack. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you say that the other day? I think you said it was pure cardio on crack. I did. I need a towel. Okay. Um, I can't talk yet. <laughs> what was interesting to me was at the very end when we were doing the ab punches, the more tired I got, the harder I hit myself yeah, to yeah. keep myself from thinking about it. I was like, if I just make it hurt and I won't think, you know, a different kind of pain. Yeah. I liked it because it's literally, like this is, if you want to call it the sequel to Insanity, and every move here in these workouts is like Insanity 2.0. Yeah. It's like, you know, we had switch kicks in Insanity, but this time we have switch kicks punch. Yeah. So it's like, it adds a whole new layer of hardness and fitness to it that I just love it. It was incredibly hard. My quads so are on fire. So you're saying do 60 days of this and then go back and do insanity and you should not stop at all. Well, right? I don't know about that, but <laughs> that would be... I think amazing. you're always going to stop with <laughs> yeah. all of this crap. But I don't know, man. I was like on the um, stance jack scissor yeah. jumps, scissor stance jacks. Yo, I was like, if I make it through this, like I feel really good. And then where did I stop? After that, because I was, was right at the... I stopped after the break. Uh, what is the wide in the Wide in knee taps. I yeah. was like, I just couldn't. Like, I was like, so at we that got point, you that, and then it was the, and then I stopped on the burpee stand. Burpee lunge. Side. Yeah. Oh. Burpee lunge, which I love the burpee love lunges. Burpee That's lunge. like my favorite move, but see? My quads. Yay, burpees. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I could not. I just couldn't do it. And then like what you said, it's like, um, the minute you max out, 
it's like you have pushed so hard to get as far as you want or the, the far that you can that the next like five minutes is like you do two exercises and you're exhausted because you've right. reached that but, highest yeah. level yeah. of but there's something amazing about that if you think about it like if you literally if you push to your max if yeah. you say I'm gonna start this I'm gonna do exactly what I can I'm gonna do it as hard as I can I'm gonna go as long as I can and then you have to max out you take your break but then you come back and do what you can do and you don't continue to try to max out anymore you just fight as long as you can go in there like that's where the results come because yeah. the work doesn't begin until you get tired you so, know so explain this to me because this is what i found out like after we after i maxed out at 818 for like the next five six minutes no eight minutes i was taking a lot of breaks and then like the last five minutes once we came out of that second break and we we're doing the plane like i was like i got a second wind and i was good yeah like what causes that? Like, is it just is it a mental thing? Well, or the thing is, just... like, if you go if you push to your max, right? Like an in insanity version one. <laughs> when you finish the warm up, you get that five minute break of stretching, right? So then you can go back into it and you feel. Okay. But with this, yeah. this is you, your max out time is kind of like the old warm up where you finish and you when you originally when you reach your max, there's a certain recovery time that yeah. your body needs before you can say okay i'm ready to go again even but while you're doing the exercises but, no no i'm saying let me finish okay, so sorry. you understand so your body wants your body needs a recovery time that's how people train in track and field it's like you do your intervals you stop so your body can recover so you can start again but with this when you hit your max out you're not giving your body that recovery time it's saying you hit your max but i want you to keep going so then you're taking a lot of breaks because your body is taking the breaks that it needs to recover. So once you, you, and it just takes longer to recover because you're still moving. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? But then you get to a point where you take so many breaks that you get to that last five minutes, you're like, I've taken the amount of time that I needed to rest my body even while moving. So like, it's almost like you're ready again, but you don't completely stop. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that actually does. Which in turn will make you run faster longer you know what it felt like to me was it felt like when, when she and i used to run it was like after i got past that first mile like the endorphins kicked in and i could go i knew i could hit like it was like that at the very end the last five minutes i felt like endorphins well, kicked and in i, and I was like, like i got this like i'm not gonna stop like i felt that runner's high yeah does that make sense yeah I didn't well i feel like shit. that last little break we took was just enough to go, okay, I've only got five minutes. Let's yeah, maybe that's this. what it was. Because that's path. the way I and perfectly felt. placed. Yes. yes. Delivered right to you. I mean, perfectly placed delivered right to your seconds. exercise. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was good. It was very hard. I was proud of myself that I made it 18 minutes. Yeah. I, mean, I started I this too. workout. I was like, there's no way you're making this 18. I was like, I yeah, thought I was going to make it like 10 minutes. I, I want to thank you guys. Like, having you in here, like, you especially... You, 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 you both are good cheerleaders, but like I kept hearing, cause he and I were in the back and I'd hear him go, come on man, come yeah. on, let's go. And then I even heard you say it to me a couple of times. And yeah. It's good to do that with other people. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do that enough. We need to encourage each other more. I, you know, for people who are married, I'm telling you right now, this might be a little deep for you people at home. Oh, I know what this is. But if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, any kind of spouse, like I'm telling you, like if you're going, this is weird, but whatever. Like if you're going through like a tough time in your relationship, like, I'm telling you, this is the kind of work, this could be therapy for a couple. Because you're, you, and you go into the same, we're going to encourage each other. Because when you're in a situation where you are struggling, like, when you're like, oh my God, like, I, I don't know if I can do this. And your spouse is like, you had, you've been having, like, these arguments and stuff. And your spouse is like, come on, like, you could do this. And you go over to them and help them. Like, that's like therapy for the soul. Yeah. Anyway, I know that was I deep, liked it. But no. Try it out if you're going through something. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys Monday Peace. for day eight. Yeah, we'll seven. be on FaceTime because yeah. I'll be out. I'll be back in the hotel room. All right, see you. <laughs>